we and good morning everybody this is clam clam ricketts from clem's kitchen this morning we're going to make ourselves a really nice brown rice type pudding breakfast meal now i don't just want rice because it doesn't have a lot of protein in it and being vegan i definitely need to have a little more protein and there's plenty of ways to do that in your diet that's diet, D-I-D-I-F, diet. So I have myself a pot. I've been simmering it for a while here. This is my wonderful brown rice coming along nicely and got my wooden spoon and I just steer it up. There we go. Give it a little steer, like that. Now, that's one cup of rice with four cups of filtered water. Now I like it to be a little bit more rich and creamy, so I add a couple of other ingredients to be right now, I like my almond milk unsweetened, but basically no sugar added. <laughs> Kinda like I like the people that I date. I don't want them to be extra sweet. I don't like getting cavities. Yeah, I bought this one here, it's organic, and it's from um, Kirkland brand again, which is Costco. And what I do is I add a little extra nice creamy almond milk right in there. This is half a cup. I'm gonna put that right in there because this has been simmering for a while. So we're getting close to adding all the ingredients. Then I'm gonna stir it up like this. That's the lid, of course. <laughs> it's a little steam coming out. That's good for the face, you know? Steam your face a little bit. Wow. Mm, that's so good. Keeps the moisture in there. Um, so anyway, we stir it up into that nice rice and water mixer. Next, what we're gonna do is gonna add some extra ingredients. So this is one of my favorites right here. Bob's Red Mill Cold Hemp Seed. See there? That's what we're using. We're gonna do just a scoop. That scoop equates to about a tablespoon not a teaspoon, a tablespoon of that hemp seed right in that rice. Because what I'm doing is I'm making it a power rice, power rice, so that I can, I'm gonna set this aside now, a power rice so that I can have a lots of um, nutrients and protein and omegas. Omega three is a lot of that. Then we're gonna take some chia seed. Again, I like Bob's Red Mill. They're really good stuff. Um, high quality. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna take this scoop. Now you don't need as much chia seed. You can put this in a little earlier, but you don't need that much chia seed. That's probably also a tablespoon. I'm gonna put that in there like that. And then again, I got to steer it up. Steer it and steer it. Cause you want that chia seed to do what it does, which is in that nice hot water and almond milk mixture, you want it to expand. You want it to get, here's a weird word, gelatinous. But you want it to get gelatinous inside there. I, I like these little guys here, they, they're adjustable. Like that, see? So this is um, gonna be a teaspoon, just one teaspoon. I don't need a lot. But this is called Ag Replacer, okay, by Energy Ag Replacer. What it does is it helps also thicken this rice-like porridge so that it turns out real nice, rich, and becomes a delicious meal in and of itself. Another thing I like to do is I like to add just about a tablespoon, and that's blue diamond almond meal. Okay, blue diamond almond then, meal. Then once I do that, I'm gonna stir it up again. Get it nice and rich. Mmm, it's gonna be so good. All right, um, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna put some nutmeg in. There's my nutmeg. I just give it a shimmy right over the top get a jigger in there a little bit of that then I take ground cinnamon now I'm just shaking it in there but 
I typically like cinnamon. You can put a quarter, depending on how much cinnamon you like, to half a teaspoon of cinnamon in that one cup of rice because it's gonna cook up um, with those four cups of water and that half a cup plus of almond meal. I like to add things as I go, um, a little at a time. I don't dump it all in at once. And then cloves. Now cloves are really strong. They're sort of like cinnamon on steroids. <laughs> You've seen some of those guys at the gym. They definitely probably doing well, maybe it wasn't clothes they're taking, but they got a lot of muscles, so there's some, maybe some steroids going on. But just take, I do about six shakes, just a little, little of that, six shakes right in there. And I want to get in there before the moisture starts to kind of cook down too much. I'm also going to get myself, oh, I mean it's shillings, but it's a little cream, see that? Cream of tartar. And I'm gonna do like a quarter teaspoon. I don't want a lot of that in there. Get a little bit more. Put that in there like that. Ooh, that's smelling so good. Put that in there like that. Now, we want to get our fruit in there. So this is this is half a banana, okay? Or nanners. Some people like to call them nanners. Depends on where you're from. I'm dump those nanners right in there. I'll pick this up so you can see how it's coming along. There you go. See there? Now we're gonna add a few more things in there, but there's my nanners and all the other things I've already added. So we're mixing that in. We got this on low now because it's been simmering a while. Now we're gonna take, these are what they call craisins, but they're really cranberries, you know, they're dried cranberries. And I put, a quarter cup of dried cranberries into that mix. Now also I want to take a little bit of the um, blackberries. I'm going to save a few so I can put them on top when I'm finished. But just get yourself some nice blackberries. And I just throw like a handful in there. There we go. Now it's handful, probably about seven, eight, how much I could hold in my fist. Steer that in too. I got a dish about done. Hmm, <laughs> it's smelling good. Now, <clears throat> I don't mind a little bit of citrusy flavor. These came off of my orange tree. So a nice little wedge of orange, quarter wedge of orange. Squeeze that sucker right in there like that. Make it cry. Just, mm, mm, mm. Get every drop out. Toss that right down there in the trash. Steer that in too. Now you got that beautiful cinnamony clove and allspice. Is that what it was with? It was, wasn't it? No, it was nutmeg. Sorry, I didn't mean to confuse you. I can do that on my own. <laughs> so, all right, I got that steered up nicely. Okay, now it's coming up to be very nice, thick kind of porridge. And that means we just about there. So it has to have, let me just show you. And this has been cooking for like um, 20, 15, 20 minutes before I came on with you. But that's what it looks like. Isn't that beautiful? Nice and thick and rich. Going to stick to your ribs. Mm, mm, mm. Now when I, speaking of ribs, I don't eat no cow ribs, but I like ribbing people. <laughs> and they don't they don't really have vegan ribs, except for if, it, if it's on a vegan, then it's, I guess it's considered but a vegan now rib. Now we've got this all done, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna adorn it and put all the extra fixings on the side with my good cup of coffee and um, some nice water. I, I like the lemon, especially in the morning. I like the lemon and ginger water, and that's kind of refreshing. You let it soak in the cup for a little while, or the glass, and then you you drink that with your meal, and it's quite refreshing. Uh, it's called immersion. You 
you immerse all these things in the water and you just kind of let it infuse with the water. It's amazing. All right, well, this is done. I'm gonna show you real quick, if I don't drop the camera, what it looks like in the pan. There you go, look at that. Rich and creamy. And it's gonna taste so good. You're gonna wish you came over for breakfast. There you go. Lovely. Stick to your ribs. Not oatmeal, but brown rice pudding breakfast mix. I'll see you on the other side when I get it all put together. Bye. Well, here it is all dialed up and everything. This is um, Dave's Killer Bread with one of that, uh, with that wonderful strawberry jam from Kirkland out of Costco. My coffee and in honor of uh, Michigan, the Mackinac Bridge is on that mug. There's the ginger lemon water. And then there's that wonderful, beautiful rice. It looks almost like oatmeal, doesn't it? And then I adorned it with additional bananas, sprinkled it with some of the nutmeg, the cloves, and the ground cinnamon. And I put a little of that wonderful Miyoko's cultured vegan butter on top. And then I took a little bit of that Kirkland maple syrup and I drizzled it on top. And then some fresh fruit on the side and my toast my water, my coffee. This cowboy is ready to rock and roll. It's morning breakfast time. Well, there you have it. Another wonderful, easy recipe from Clem's Country Kitchen Cooking. This is Clem Ricketts saying goodbye and happy appetite. Mm-hmm.